Welcome to the overview of 2021, the year in which I looked again into how the Dutch got their bicycle parts, how the sustainable safety policies influenced the cycling infrastructure, and how Utrecht tries to get less people on this particular cycle route. 2021 was a year with a lot of snow, but the Dutch kept on riding, also during the night sometimes a bit too confident. Fortunately, the snow was cleared from the cycleways soon enough. I visited the redesigned stations of Driebergen Zeist and Koevoorden. The station in Zwolle got a brand new underground bicycle parking garage. And some of the Ovefiets shared bicycles now have locks without keys. Utrecht opened a giant underground bicycle parking in the center. And the longest rainbow cycleway at the university campus. Cycling can emancipate people. Rotterdam's mass tunnel was reopened after a three year renovation and the longest wooden cycling bridge was opened near Winschoten. Belgium also opened wooden cycling infrastructure, but here it's an experience. This cycling viaduct connects Sertogenbos and Vught better, and this giant cycling bridge connects two tiny towns. Not all bridges are great. Some give the feeling they were created to get cycling out of the way and some are simply outdated. Some infrastructure was repurposed. This used to be a provincial road. This used to be a railway. Financed from the coffee trade in Indonesia. And this used to be a military airbase runway. I documented a lot of change this year. Reconstructed intersections at a reconstructed main cycle route. Utrecht changed dramatically. The city even removed cycle tracks and reduced the space for motor traffic. That is also what happened in front of City Hall in Rotterdam. And in the center of Eindhoven. From where you can cycle to Sertogenbos on the future F2. A main cycle route like this one, the F261. Or the F50, which was an upgrade of an already good cycling route. The F344 has its good parts, but a lot of it is quite narrow. Even narrower than here where it is just called an ordinary bicycle path. Some of these interurban routes are over 40 years old, but clearly very well maintained. Cycling in the countryside becomes easy when gaps in the cycling network are bridged. And you get such attractive cycle routes separately or next to roads. of different sizes. Sometimes the route is shared with cars. But often you cycle away from motor traffic. Through the cities. Or around them. No wonder the Dutch cycle in all weather conditions also in the rain, or in the snow, in real snow. Cycling is as Dutch as tulips, and windmills. We'll keep on cycling into the future.